The use of a press to form glass is probably the most important invention since the Romans perfected the blowpipe 2,000 years ago. This invention is directly due to the Americans, and it really set American glassmaking on the path to prosperity. There were a lot of experiments, but finally it was perfected in the late 1820s. We don't know exactly which American glass company was the first to press glass, because there was a lot of argument about who did it first, but it was a technology that spread very rapidly, and by the 1830s there were probably half a dozen companies that were making it. This desk set is important because it's one of the earliest pieces of American press glass that is known. You'll see, if you look at it, that the color is not at all even, so this may have been a second. There are only, I think, six of these desk sets known, and they're all slightly off in terms of color. The rectangular piece is pressed. The two round pieces in the back, which are entirely separate and are lifted out, are in fact blown into a mold because, of course, you can't press a closed piece. One of those is an inkwell and the other is a sander because if you were writing a letter in the late 18th or early 19th century, you were dipping your pen into the ink and of course occasionally blotting whatever you were writing. So when you finished writing, you sprinkled sand over it to dry the ink. Most of the early pieces of pressed glass are colorless because it was difficult to work with the colors and keep them the right temperature for pressing and have them come out correctly. The various known examples of that desk set are all slightly different colors, and I think they stopped trying to make that pale blue because it was just too difficult. If you look at the piece in the upper shelf to the right, you'll see that that particular plate is misshapen. Obviously, it got bent somehow when it came out of the mold. I think these early pieces, which have problems, are interesting. I doubt if they were sold commercially. They were probably seconds which glass workers took home for their own use. But it's interesting to us, as we study the technology of pressing, to be able to see how they had to work to get it right. If you look to your left, you'll see an actual press, which was used in the 19th century. And at the end of the case to your left, some molds and some information about exactly how the molds were made and used.